jump left, jump right, straight line it, and then over jump the hip as much as you can. Okay, sorry, you, you said jump jump which way? Sh show me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going for. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Yokes' folks. Hey guys, so now it is day two of my little Georgia adventure out here with MTB Frequent Flyer. What? Yesterday, it was more trail riding. Uh, we had a bunch of rain the day before, so a lot of stuff was closed. What was it we went to yesterday? Went Bear Creek? Mulberry Gap. Bear Hody. <laughs> Bear Hody is what we're calling it. That trail was a lot more technical, a lot of climbing, a lot of descending. Uh, but at the start of it, we had this little mini jump line, which was really cool to ride. And I guess I got a little too confident because I was starting to tell Frequent Flyer here that, man, I'm almost riding better than you. Then he elected to tell me he was only going about maybe 30% and said, wait till tomorrow. We're out here over at Big Creek, bunch of jump lines. Today is going to be a little bit of a progression challenge for me because I've never hit <laughs> i've actually never hit any like really big jump lines frequent flyers saying that it's going to be medium big i mean it's no whistler <laughs> no. but still bigger than anything i have out in ohio let's uh see what i can do so making the climb up right now what's the name of this first run we're gonna be doing uh this is just the expert jump line expert jump line oh oh, oh god okay <laughs> Hold on, can I turn around and go pee? This first jump line, as Frequent Flyer said, is called Expert Jump Line. But it's not as daunting as it sounds or even looks from the side. Well, I hit the first two on the right side. That's not the biggest jumps they have here, is it? No. Okay. No, this is our warm-up. This is our warm-up, oh god. And a good warm-up at that. It shook off the morning and limbered us up. An easy climb followed by four yeah. sequential jumps that have been built and maintained perfectly made for a pretty good introduction to what the day had in store. What do I need to know before I look over the edge of that? Four speed, don't break. How do you do that? So I'm assuming here's the run up. Do not go for those trees. Transition, some bumpies, firm to the left. Go stand where we're landing. So he is about six feet tall. Here's the line, add another foot. So yeah, that's about seven feet of drop. When people talk about GoPro effect, this is what they're talking about. I've seen this drop before on Biking with Bobo, and I was wondering why he was so scared to go off of it the first time. All right, so this is the Typhoon drop, having not seen anyone do it yet. Frequent flyer just wants, wants his carnage, so let's give it to him. You really have to see this rock in person to see how scary it is. Yo! Well, all right, I survived the Typhoon drop. The first attempt was a little nose low, but after I knew what to expect, the second one went a lot smoother. I wish I could say the same about how I rode the rest of that trail. Yeah, bud. Yeah. Now that we were nice and confident, it was time to hit Hawkeye. And after almost falling off my bike before we even turned towards the run, that's off to a great start. I was a little nervous. Frequent Flyer gave me a walkthrough of the first two jumps just so I could see how big they are, and then just said, meh. Follow me, and follow him I did. He did warn me that I would have to boost a lot more on Hawkeye than on Expert. I don't know how that translated to pull the nose high on the first one, but there it is. A couple of cases at the end, but this one left me with my confidence intact, and maybe a little Yo! boosted. Nailed it, dude. I gotta bleep myself again. Dude, first try. Sorry, am I a little too excited? Or am I just the right amount of excited? I'm excited. Thank you.
All but the last one, but the uh, second to last one bucked me. Frequent flyer. I thought this was supposed to be a progression video. Oh, well, are you cleaning the whole jump line yet? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Cheers, All right, man. we'll talk, we'll talk. <laughs> If you watched my last video, you'd know that the day before this, we went for a 20 mile ride. And on every climb, our legs were feeling it. Not so much in the descent though. I think it has something to do with adrenaline. Climbing up, you don't have much adrenaline. You don't really care, but going down, it's like, ah! I, I already forgot the name of this. Hawkeye. Take, <gasps> take three on Hawkeye, AKA. Let's go. That was, all right. <laughs> take three on Hawkeye, AKA. <laughs> All right, allons-y, as the French say. I tapped my butt on the last one. On the tire? Yeah, dude, I had to reach. Uh, so right now, frequent flyers actually off his bike. He's uh, gonna film me on the last couple of jumps. But I keep casing it, so we're gonna get an outside view. See what I'm doing wrong. See if we can fix it, make everything look nice and pretty. We don't really have any theories other than maybe I just need to boost it a little bit better, which I'm not exactly good at, especially when I'm panicking. As anyone who knows me knows, I'm terrified of heights. I know, I'm a pilot. I'm terrified of heights. <laughs> Dropping. All right, boosting definitely helps. But I really wanted to make one more run because I couldn't leave this place without at least one commemorative photo. Dropping. Had a look. Oh my God, with the sun, that looks amazing. <laughs> Turns out I'm actually halfway decent at jumps. Halfway decent might be a little uh, liberal. Half <laughs> halfway decent. So anyways, like I said, this uh, video was supposed to be a bit of a progression challenge. We kind of abandoned that. We're going to, to at least try and some tricks because I've, <laughs> it's still progression, yeah. But I've never done tricks and I panic. So that's my progression is trying tricks, not so much clearing jumps. It's doing something in the air other than dead sailor. The first of my little bag of tricks was a whip followed by a tabletop. Neither one actually worked. They just kind of turned into bar turns. And up next, frequent flyer really wanted me to take my hand off the bar. And I mean, did but yeah yeah that yeah uh tricks are scary so at this point we had a few other people to ride with and we decided instead to forget the tricks at the moment and head up the trail for something a little bit safer something that probably won't get me hurt <laughs> Good. That hurt like hell. Did it wrap around you? Yeah, that got around my neck. Oh my god. <laughs> Look like you almost just like hung yourself. I felt like I hung myself. Okay, now that the trail has officially tried to kill me, it was time to start taking things just a little bit easier. I'm really amazed at how much Big Creek has to offer in such a small area. Every time that I thought freaking flyer was done showing me around, there was another small but equally epic trail tucked away in the trees. It's big enough that there's something for everyone, but it's small enough that you don't tire yourself out just trying to get from point A to point B.
this, we want to go to the big rock jump. Sure. Sure. Big rock drop, I mean. Yeah. Probably be my last run, too. Oh, never say those words. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, yeah. It's so your second, yeah. second to last run now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You may go check something out with your car. <laughs> and everyone ever sees you again. Yeah. <laughs> everyone ready? Yeah. Let's go. This place really does have everything. It's got all levels of tech, rock drops, and floaty jump blocks. And I think it's safe to say that on this day, I was definitely progressing. My line choices were looking better, my transitions were looking smoother, and I was certainly approaching blissful levels of confidence. Ride her down, ride her down, ride her down! Woo! Leafy! Yeah, we're good. Going back up to the top? Yep. Alright boys, we ready for some redemption. We ready for some f***ing redemption because that suck. <laughs> I'm not the only one progressing. Even the simple act of getting back onto the top of the trail and smashing through those loops that took you out can be enough. Oh dude, I almost hit that tree at the end. Unfortunately, this is the last little bit of footage that I recorded. After this run, my GoPro battery died, and since it was already getting dark, rather than replacing the battery, we decided to pack it up and call it a day. Or so I thought. Now we're on our way to a skate park, because apparently this guy still has energy. How? What uh, is your secret? Well, I got punched in the face by a tree, and it gave me a second wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and to the skate park we went on that late cold fall night. Even after taking a tree to the face, it seems MTB Freakin' Flyer will always have enough energy to do what he loves most. That does it for this video as well as my Atlanta adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. I'll be bringing more content like this in the near future. You can find me on Instagram at Yokes and Spokes. And I'm always looking for more places to ride. So let me know about your trails and I might just fly out and ride with you. And remember, whether you're working or playing, keep flying.